Oh, hey. Didn't see you there for the second year in a row. So we have the updated house tour as I promised in last year's house tour video. Now, as I said, this is an updated house tour. So we're gonna kinda, you know, quickly move along through rooms and maybe don't have anything that's changed. There is a decent amount of new stuff here, so we're gonna go over that. But if you wanna see like some crazy B-roll, check out the first house tour. All right, so let's start off. We have the living room. Now the living room is pretty much just like it was last year. Uh, we still have the recliners with the reclining chairs. Uh, we have the little cup holders in here, the little compartment you can put stuff in. We have the marble table. The TV is the exact same. We still have the same fireplace, all that. Really the only new additions to the living room would be the VR headsets, which uh, by the way, boxing champion of the world, undefeated, never lost. Now flowing from the living room, of course, we have the kitchen and a new addition to the house that I told you guys about last year in the house tour, the breakfast area, hangout area table. So as I said, this was not here in the last house tour and I told you guys that it was gonna take a while for it to come in. Obviously when like the pandemic first started pretty much, uh, everything was on a delay between stuff for the bedrooms, for the kitchen, for the dining room, everything. So this took a little bit, but this is pretty much just where I just chill out, you know, maybe have breakfast. I actually tend to eat here more than I do the actual dining table, probably because this is just closer to the stove. So now we get into the kitchen. I don't think anything at all in the kitchen has changed from the last house tour, but over here we do have the stove. We have this beautiful little backdrop, uh, the back lighting as well. So at nighttime, if you're out here and you don't want all these big lights on, you can pretty much just have these lights in the cupboard going. So at nighttime, it's pretty easy. Still have the same sink, which I absolutely love because the touch sink, absolutely love that. Uh, we have the stove over here. Up here, we just have like baggies, stuff like that. Uh, the microwave, automatic open. Tell me that is not absolutely sick. And then we have the broiler. Still haven't used it one time. Probably will never use it because I just, not that good of a cook, but it is what it is. So we have the fridge here, which is a lot more fuller than it was last year. You guys absolutely roasted me for that. And then we had the freezer. We're stocked up. Once again, of course, pantry didn't move right here. And once again, just kind of like last year, uh, pantry's full of a lot of snacks, but I do promise you guys I've been eating a lot more fresh food. Veggies, can't really promise that one. Now getting into the actual dining room, again, something else that changed. I told you guys last year that we only had two chairs because ones didn't come in. As you guys can see now, this is in fact a six person table. Don't really use it a ton, to be honest, but when I do, it's nice to have. Now, one key addition to the house that is absolutely holding it all together and makes my life a lot easier is my main man, my guy, Zerkbot. This dude right here, if you don't got one, get one. Cleans the entire house, no need to sweep. Now getting into the notorious sweat room, as I call it, we have my boy over here, Bob the Bruiser. Some of you guys know him as just Bob, but added a little nickname onto him this year. Something, something special for my guy. He's taking a lot of beatings, but you know, he's fine. He's perfectly fine. Don't worry about him. Over here, we have the home sauna. I try to use it mm, maybe once a week. Sometimes I'll go without using it, maybe for a couple weeks at a time. Sometimes I'll use it two, three times a week, depending on how I'm feeling. And then we have the treadmill. Don't do much cardio, probably never will. You see these legs? You don't get those from running cardio, baby. These are leg day that I don't do. Now from the dining room here, we do have this little side closet where I just keep like grilling stuff. And then we get into the laundry room in the garage. So now we have the laundry room right here, pretty basic washer, dryer, and the extra fridge, which as you guys know, is the booze fridge. All right, so one of the biggest changes to the house is the addition of the gym room. As you guys can see, it is not finished. I've gotten a couple of pieces of the gym set up now, but there are a lot of boxes. There's actually even more boxes on the other side of my car. So we're gonna have like eight or nine different full machines in here that will fit. Still laying out the floor mats as well. So the gym room obviously is like one of the biggest additions. Still have a lot of work to do. I just haven't had time to put all the machines together. And then we still have the 2020 BMW M4 competition 
I will let you guys know that I did actually just order, so it's gonna be like four to six months, just ordered a new 2022 Mustang GT. I love Mustangs, I can't lie. I absolutely love Mustangs. So I wanted to have both of them get the nice little, you know, sports luxury with like muscle car duo. I think it's gonna be awesome. You guys can see, of course, with the competition package, I did get the full red interior. Also is pretty much all carbon fibered out. I did swap out the gear shifter, so that's also carbon fiber, and the rest, dashboard, all that carbon fiber. Now, another big change to the house is the bedrooms are finally furnished. If you guys remember from the last house tour, I didn't actually have the bed frames because, again, things just took time to come in. We have the dresser, the bed frame now. We have the bed in here. We have a TV in here as well. Uh, the huge walk-in closet which there's a lot of stuff in it so i'm not gonna open it but it is a nice size walk-in closet and then we have the connecting bathrooms and now we have the connecting bathrooms in here which again pretty much nothing has changed we still have the mirror the toilet with the full bathroom so you have the shower bathtub we're going to use in there same thing <laughs> you get to zoom in a little bit so now we get into the second guest bedroom and as you guys can see once again Finally furnished, you know, we have the dresser, we have the full thing with the bed, we have an Xbox right there, and we actually have a next-gen Xbox, which I did just recently buy because I had friends over, and we kind of wanted to play some 2K together, so <laughs> went and bought another Xbox, and we hooked it up to this TV. And now, we head upstairs. Now we have the office, which some things have changed, but not really that much from the last house store. Still have the signed Michael Vick helmet here. We have my little YouTube pillow in the chair. Uh, setup is pretty much the same. Think same camera, same mic, same lighting, everything. I actually have a new backdrop coming in like a couple weeks. So that'll be here for Madden 23. You guys can see now I have a bunch of mini helmets in the background, some signed, some not. Only a few were signed. And then we have more mini helmets over here. Still same lighting, pretty much office is the same, just mini helmets now. And of course, we still have the bathroom right here attached to the office. Still, same toilet, shower as well, which I personally don't use, but if I have enough guests over, they use that shower. Movie room is still the exact same as well. I will say though, I think I'm planning on changing out these seats to some newer seats, maybe even getting uh, an additional one in here as well if I'm able to fit that in. And the TV, I'm thinking about replacing and getting a projector in here, but the stereo system, you can see all the different speakers up on the wall there's a ton so that absolutely does not need to be replaced but i'm thinking projector maybe some new seats now we're outside and we still have the same hot tub i don't think i plan on changing from this hot tub anytime soon and then we have the pool of course the heated pool absolutely had to be heated because i'm a baby with cold water i i won't get in uh, then we have the pool table and the grill, which it's a little bit rainy outside today, so I would take the cover off to show you guys the pool table, but let's go check out the first house store if you wanna see it. And now to end off the video, we have the master. So starting off with the master bedroom, we have the master bathroom, same exact setup as last year. We have the toilet, we have the TV up there, we have the his and her sink. So I don't really use the jacuzzi that much to be honest, but the walk-in shower, I absolutely love it. And of course, there is this area you could sit down at, I don't ever sit down in the shower though. Now getting into the area of the master bedroom that has probably changed the most, that's what's in the closet. So the biggest change is obviously with the master closet is the shoes. Uh, last year I didn't have that many shoes, got into collecting shoes, maybe a little bit more. I wouldn't even call myself a collector, honestly. I just kind of get shoes that I want. So we have Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, 3s, only one pair of 11s, but Definitely those are uh, my favorite. Have gotten a little bit into dunks as well. So I do have some different colors of dunks wearing the red ones as well right now. Pretty much it. I don't really wear Yeezys that much. Do still have two pairs of Yeezys, but a lot more shoes in the closet. Aside from that, we do have the normal, I mean, clothes, sweatshirts, hoodies, whatever. A couple dress shirts, which I couldn't tell you the last time I actually wore those. And then I also have a bunch of new jerseys as well. You know, we have the Dallas Cowboys sweater right there. We have the Zeke. We have Diggs, Micah Parsons. The only player I have two jerseys of is actually Diggs. Now to end it off, we have the master bedroom itself with the hallway, which we still have pretty much every single jersey that was in here before the same. 
Uh, we have Jalen Smith, Joey Bosa, Justin Jefferson, Jonathan Taylor, Honey Badger, and also Bo Jackson. I just want to say this, though. With Jonathan Taylor, I had this last year before it broke out. That's Zerk Luck. And then also, I just wanted to add this in here as well. Give it its own little special moment. But we do have the Kobe Bryant mural, you could call it, I guess. Uh, pretty dope. I mean, it changes every time you walk around a different angle. Got this last year in Vegas. It is sick. And then the final thing, of course, is the bed. We have the bed, the two nightstands right there, and we have the TV on the wall, which the walls in here are just really big. So the TV looks kind of small. But if I remember, I think it's a 46 inch, I want to say but the walls are just huge. So that concludes the updated house tour. I wanted to give you guys a little update from last year. There was a lot of new stuff, some things that changed. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on it, hit that sub button down below. Thank you guys for all the support.